Hi, I am Igra Glass, and today I'll tell you how to compile your code, your C code in Notepad++ very fast. In my previous video, I showed you how to install MinGV, GCC compiler and Windows, and how to um, run uh, how to run comp compilation from PowerShell or from Common Prompt. You could do it, and it's like take time to open this PowerShell. In Notepad++, there is an easy way to do it. You do not need even uh, NPP exec plugin or anything. Just it's internal thing to run to run stuff from this from uh, Notepad. So if you press F5, you have uh, such prompt here, and here you could actually perform different comments. For example, let's try CMD, and if we press run, it will start CMD. The thing is that uh, if we will just try it like CMD. GCC 1.c to use our compiler GCC which we installed in my uh, previous video just watch it if you didn't uh, it wouldn't work you see it wouldn't work because we need to go to the special mode like to co command mode so we press cmd then slash k and then we could try uh, GCC but you see it didn't work why it didn't work because we need to change our folder first so we go here back and we say uh, cd and we should uh, get the proper way to this folder we just just right click to the file in notepad plus plus and full file path to clipboard and now do it like this if we will run um, okay we need to remove it and add quotes you see it's uh, going to the right direction so now if we will add here so it's uh, first it's made first command to command to cd there and now we could we press two ampersands and say to him it's like and and do another thing so gcc 1.c run you see and it's compiled it's compiled our program so we could even write it immediately. So after GCC 1.c, we add another command and say like uh, run our program. It's called A. We could add exe, okay. Run. Okay, it's uh, stupid security, but it doesn't matter. You see, it works. It works. So um, by the way, you could change it from K it means it will uh, when you run the program it will return to the terminal if you want to close it right on you use C and you if you see so the program it will run itself and it will close so if we will add here get char so it wouldn't close immediately like this and run it with a C you will see your, your program um, one second. Yeah, we should put get char before uh, return, of course, like this. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, you see, hello world. And if we press uh, enter twice to remove get char, I just show it to you to so you will see how it, uh, uh, how it goes. It will close. So yeah, there are two different modes like. C and K. So for fast testing, it's better to use C, but for this demonstration, I use uh, K, so it will return back. And now we also want uh, to run it manually. So even when we press F5, then we need to press run. So it's kind of two actions. How to run it immediately? Here is an option to save it to the, uh, like this, to make a hotkey shortcut so let's for example make uh, control uh, control f9 control f9 and call it compile okay run so now when i press control f9 it starts automatically cool so uh, you could change it in settings shortcut mapper here in run commands you could uh, change this option or delete it so that's it basically about Notepad++, how to make it um, useful, very useful in fast uh, development. So 
I like this editor more than anything else because it's very fast. It's uh, very nice looking. I like the style. So I run, I I write a lot of code in in Notepad plus plus and I debug in other IDs. So then, thank you very much for watching. Please uh, go come to next video. We will continue our adventures in C language. Bye bye.